less than 4K to go. Here's the situation. Van Aert, Guerrero, James Short behind him, Johannesson. The Peloton has dropped off one by one. Having a wonderful day out. There are only two riders that remain. Oh, there goes the attack. Here we go. This is the attack. They're both on their limit. Jonas Vingegaard is going to go 48 kilometers from the finish line. She looks a little more pain than Maddox. And try and put Tadej Pogacar out of this Tour de France. It could just be a facade. Tadej Pogacar looking... I won't say comfortable, but glued to the wheel. I thought you were my domestique. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe I'll give you the win. <laughs> Pretty morale. The to me looks a lot more cool, calm, collected today. Can you turn it down? All right, welcome back. We made it to the French Pyrenees and tomorrow we are climbing the Tourmalet. Is that our climb? Yeah. Paul de Tourmalet. What is Paul? It's like a mountain pass. An iconic tour climb. We're gonna look up the calm. Miguel's going calm hunting I'm going, tomorrow. I'm going calm hunting on my two hour easy ride. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do a run workout before to make sure I give everybody else a chance. Yeah, right. No, but really I'm just your domestique tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be cold tonight, so we decided to give ourselves some comfort before the big day tomorrow. Miguel suggested an Airbnb tonight, so we're How staying can, at an Airbnb. Yeah. Miguel that? really wanted to stay in an Airbnb. Anyway, we're here yeah. and it's beautiful. All right out for my morning run here. Got a little run workout, but bigger things. Today is the day that Jenna and I tackle the Tourmalet. First thing you should know about coming to do the Tourmalet is it is visually daunting. Mountains everywhere around you and the biggest, most intimidating peaks are in the direction of where you're gonna be climbing. Ridiculous. We're about a week away from Challenge Vubaku, so I guess we're allowed to do one stupid thing. Run is done, meet up with Jenna, get changed, maybe grab a quick espresso from across the street, tackle the Tourmalet. Whew. Interesting day. So hey. How are you feeling? Uh, tired and scared. Tired we can fix with an espresso. Scared. We just gotta get going. I'm gonna be in one gear the whole time. I'm the domestique. Jenna is our GC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go as hard as I can for as long as I can and then just drop her off wherever I, I blow up. Bye. All right, we've made it about 200 feet and we stopped at a cafe to get some espresso and snacks. So here we are at Le Refuge, right at the base of the start of the ride. <laughs> no premonition. We're starting the ride in a little village. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. I'll put it on the screen. But basically, we're starting a little before the actual climb starts so we can get warmed up on like a 1% ramp. We wanted to not just start with climbing immediately. It's begun. This is the flatter section. It's like 1% or 2%. And then when we take a left turn, it's when the real the real climb begins. Seven, eight, nine percent. So far so good on the weather too. We just want sun on the descent and we want a dry descent. meters. What? That means that we've only climbed 300 meters. Oh, never mind. Better be less. We just 
past the little ski lift area. There's some mountain bikes going up. And uh, I think this is where things get pretty dead. It becomes barren. Older, more exposed. Those are cold. Wool socks will be nice for the descent. It's what I say. It's what I say. It's what I say. It's what I say. How lucky are we that it's clear, too? So far. Looks clear up there, too. How are you doing? I'm sweaty. Ooh. I think we just passed the bottom of the lift that takes you to the top. Oh, I see it up there. So now it's just one more ski lift to go, Jenna. Never will I complain about the climbs near us again. Oh, can you imagine doing this on a GT bike? People are saying we were ridiculous for having four bikes in the van. This is why. Oh. Yeah, thank you, QR. Seriously, this is, this is because of you. Yeah. Oh. You. There you go. Oh. What was that? This is all right. How much more to go? 2K. Wow. 2K. Flattens out a little bit here. It's kind of nice. Final little climb. Yeah, before the final push. Looks like it gets steep again. This is it, the last stretch. What a cool thing. Oh yeah, it really kicks up here, doesn't it? Oh. where the attacks are made. Jenna's back there just talking to herself in French. Under her breath, she's just going, allez, allez, allez. <laughs> I don't think she realizes it. <laughs> wow. All right, hey. now on the other side. There it is. I'm back up. Like at the end of it. We made it to the top, and I've been saving a special little present 
for Jenna and I. For a Madeline. Wow. Merci beaucoup. Preparing for this cold descent, <laughs> so we're literally changing. We brought spare clothes. <laughs> spare everything. Yeah. Made it down. We're gonna go get a warm treat now because it feels like we just went skiing. What did we get? Hot chocolate. No espresso. Espresso would have been nice. Cheers. All right, Jenna, what do you have to tell people about the cold du tourmalé? Oh, I thought you said cold du tourmalé. <laughs> oh, it was. <laughs> Mostly, day one in the French Pyrenees. You can't get much better than that. A plus. <laughs> and now we are off to explore more. Name the game. Explore. All right. Bike. Van's a bit of a mess. Oh. All right. Good night, everybody. Next week on Freestyle Try. Try.